Hello students, this is lecture 9 uh, on alcohols, phenols and ethers and here we are going to prepare, uh, we are learning the preparations of the alcohol and this is new method, lecture 9, this is my new method from ester, okay, from ester. Uh, in short, I will write it is method is done as a hydrolysis, hydrolysis of ester. Now, first of all, let us understand what is ester. General formula, if I see, then a general formula is this R C double bond O O R dash. This is a general example of the ester. Means this R and R dash could be same or different alkyl groups. So here I am going to write uh, some of the examples of the ester first and then later, let, later understand what is hydrolysis, how the hydrolysis will be taking place means breaking of the bonds using water. So uh, examples I am writing of the ester, this is methyl group I am taking, this is carbon, oxygen, and this is oxygen and group. This is methyl group. Uh, with respect to the nomenclature part, the naming part, uh, what you can see over here is uh, this group is a methyl. So I will write that in the prefix methyl and this side it is also a two carbon system, right? This is also a two carbon system, one and two. So methyl, I will be writing the name two carbons so ethane ethane right so last e replace with a functional group so last e i will be replacing with a functional group and i am writing a suffix for a ester is o a t okay this is the way we do the naming of the ester let us take some other example i am taking this is to be ch3 this is to be ch2 c double bond o and this side also C double bond O, this side O, CH2, CH3. So over here name will be, there are two carbon system. This is a two carbon system. It is ethoxy group and this is a ethyl. Naming is done in this way. Ethyl and here if you see it is three carbon system. One, two and three. It is ethyl, three carbon. So ethyl propane O8. I am just writing number of carbons. Propane O8 is the suffix. Okay. Propane, why? Because three carbon system. I can also take one example where there is a benzene. Okay. Benzene group is there. Let's say this is the benzene group which is connected to this double bonded oxygen and let's say this is the methyl group so now since this is the case it is name will be methyl this is called as a benzo okay benzo it benz okay i will write it is just benz o8 is again common so methyl benzo it is the answer for this so this is how we do the naming of the esters um, more examples i can take over here if this is CH3, CH2, C double bond O and even if this is the case, even if this chain is longer which is connected to O, I will write this to be or I will write this to be CH2, CH3. Here there are four carbon systems. So it is butyl and one, two, three. Propane O8. So this will be the name of this type of ester. So further we will understand how to do the hydrolysis of this ester. So now let us move on to the hydrolysis of the ester. Actual reaction I will write.
we understood how to name ester hydrolysis of ester general reaction i will write let's say this is a ester r c o o r dash and we are doing the hydrolysis means i am adding water to this it could be done in a acidic medium as well as base so i am explaining you this in the acidic medium okay later i will explain what happens in a basic medium also this is acidic medium that's why i have written a h plus acid could be hcl h2so4 or hno3 any but to represent this acid i am putting this h plus over here what you will get over here is r c o o h plus r r dash o h means in short what i can say is that this is the ester this is the ester and if i do this hydrolysis okay hydrolysis then what we get is a carboxylic acid carboxylic acid and the alcohol carboxylic acid we are getting this as a byproduct now um, see there is no point in every time understanding a mechanism every time mechanism is uh, sometimes it is very long and um, but if you understand a trick okay how to get the product how to get the product sometimes that helps a lot uh, so i will start i will take one example i will take one example over here of the hydrolysis of the ester um, i'll take this to be a methyl group this is connected to this carbon this is o and this is ch3 and now i am doing the hydrolysis the mechanism but like this is also h water could be represented as this h and oh minus well this is h plus and this is negative part right this is in the presence of acid now if you see in this carbon here in, the, in this ester this is the carbon which is partially positive why I calling this to be a partially positive because it is connected to two oxygens which are electronegative in nature and the tendency of the electronegative element is to pull the electron of the carbon towards itself so this oxygen is a partially positive that's why i'm putting this is to be a delta and this is partially negative that's why the positive part negative part is going to go and attack on the carbon which is electron deficient and it is not going to attack on these carbons because they are not electron deficient so here what i can write is attack i can show in this manner this negative part i am showing i am showing from this side okay it will attack on this carbon since this is this is going to form a new bond fifth bond so one pi bond will shift right and uh, you can show this to be in this manner this will back bond over here like negative charge will be formed here it will back bond and the weakest bond carbon oxygen bond this will break but in short shortest manner what i can say is that this is going to combine with this okay like or i can say that electron reach to this it is going to combine with this this h plus so finally what we get over here is this ch3 c o and this is the oh which is connecting over here and plus this was the ch3 and this was the o and this is that hydrogen and this is how we are getting the alcohol right so this is a carboxylic acid and this is a ethanoic acid or acetic is acid also called it is iupac name is ethanoic acid or acetic acid also called as acetic acid this is methanol one carbon and oh is attached to it so this is the way you can remember the things Okay, how the bond breaking is taking place this is the bond which is breaking over here and oh is attached and to this h other h plus part is added now if i do the hydrolysis in the basic medium if i am doing the hydrolysis in the basic medium actually i should show this to be a reversible reaction uh, since it is a hydrolysis over here uh, this is o ch3 and i am taking a base 
N A O H, right? This is negative part and this is the positive part in the covalent bond, right? It is a base and there will be a covalent bond between them. So here the negative part will go to this carbon and the positive part will go over here. Means what we are getting over here is this CH3 CO OH, sorry, not OH, O NA you will get. That is a salt of carboxylic acid, sodium salt of acetic acid. Sodium salt of acetic acid. plus OH this is what you are going to get and this is the methanol this is the main product over here this is the main product over here that is the methanol and this is how the hydrolysis takes place in a basic medium and one in the acidic medium but the formation of the alcohol is confirmed in both the cases whether you do the reaction in acidic medium or the basic medium Let's solve one more example over here. Very simple example I'll take. I'll take one example of the ester. If this is the ester, CH3, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, CH2 and CH3. And if we are doing the hydrolysis in the acidic medium, okay, you can pause this video and predict the product. What could be the product and see whether you are getting the correct answer okay done now i'll solve this for you the product what we are going to get is ch3 ch2 c double bond o oh plus o this is the bond cleavage right here is the bond cleavage is going to take place and this is the hydrogen this is ch2 CH3 means here product what we are getting is ethanol here it is uh, 1 2 3 4 butanoic acid butanoic acid and the ester what what I took was a uh, ethyl ethyl 4 carbon system so butane O A T. So this is the preparation of the alcohol from the ester. 